Today, we're going to talk about the hidden opportunities of driving. And by that, what I mean is, you know, we drive mostly to make money. And that's what we think. We drive, we earn. We drive, we earn. But there's quite a few things. I'm going to list four things that are really kind of these golden opportunities that we have with all that time that we're spending in the car. And stick around, because at the end of the video, I'm going to share with you my number one uh, hidden opportunity uh, for rideshare driving. So hey everybody, this is Jay Crater, and let's jump right in with number one. So the first hidden opportunity is ongoing education. So we spend a lot of time in the car, and with the invention of podcasts, it's amazing how much new stuff we can learn. Whether you want to learn about elk hunting, um, you want to learn about uh, how your mind works, about meditation, you want to learn about uh, MMA fighting, <laughs> I mean, uh, you want to learn about peak performance, you want to learn about the paleo diet, pretty much there's like so many great, uh, and here I'm showing you some of my favorite uh, podcasts uh, that, I, that I listen to. So think about it, if you do 20 rides a day and in between the rides you have five minutes, that's like a hundred extra minutes that you have where you can be listening to podcasts when your passengers aren't in the car. So give it a check, check it out, these podcasts are great. The second hidden opportunity is to develop a strong sense of self-discipline. You know, we're very unusual. We're independent contractors. We don't have a boss. So we need to uh, strengthen our, our self-discipline, um, our ability to work and get something down the road, so delayed gratification. Uh, it's something that most people don't have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis because they have their regular job and you know they've got a boss that tells them they've got to be at work. So what I do is I create a daily schedule and my job is to stick to that schedule and get all my stuff done. Hidden opportunity number three is the art of conversation. So since I've been driving, I've done over close to 21,000 rides. That means 21,000 people have come into my car. I don't know what level of how long you've been driving, but say it's a thousand, say it's a few hundred. Every one of those is an opportunity for you and me to become better conversationalists, to ask a few simple questions and, and listen for the response and then continue the conversation. You can experiment with things that you say and see how it affects the person that you're talking to. You'll learn how important compliments are, saying nice, pleasant things to people, how it changes their whole outlook. Or you can try, if you want, say some negative things or some controversial things and notice how you're not going to get the same kind of positive response. This is an image from one of my favorite movies called Glen Gary, Glen Ross, which is about a bunch of salespeople. And in the movie, there's a point where his uh, Al Pacino's sales manager, whose ear is played by Kevin Spacey, says something with a customer and he loses the sale. And uh, the Al Pacino character says something uh, which we can learn in our car, which is don't open your mouth till you hear the shot, which means don't give any information away that might be controversial or get you in trouble. Wait for somebody to say something and then just respond to what they said. And you can see immediately how your conversation also affects how many tips you get. That's really what it comes down to. You can tell how you're doing with your customers by the kind of tips that you're getting. And the fourth and most important, I believe, is that you get to learn the art of listening. So there's an old... Uh, Zen statement or something that says we have two ears and one mouth. So we listen twice as much as we talk. And what I have found is that when I can really listen to my, uh, my passengers and let them share, let them express themselves, that that's really what people want to do. They want to be able to express themselves and to be gotten. They want to be gotten. They want to be heard by somebody. And this is a skill that if you learn it, it works so well with your partner, it works with your children, it works uh, where, wherever you interact with people. The, uh, the, the hidden, this, the uh, uh, pretty much neglected. Uh, everyone's talking at each other, talking back and forth. Uh, you can learn to be a really great listener because of the amount of time you're in your car interacting with so many different people. Now, I, I told you I'd share with you my favorite thing. My favorite thing to share with you comes from the first thing I said, which was, uh, listening to a lot of podcasts. I love to listen to the Joe Rogan podcast. Um, so this is a recent uh, thing for me because I didn't used to listen to him at all. 
but he does these very long, three minute long, uh, three, three hour long uh, conversations with people. And he talks about hunting, um, MMA, uh, he has uh, intellectuals on, and he's just kind of a, like almost like a blue collar guy uh, in the way he talks to people. And he just asks logical questions and he has real interesting conversations. So check out the Joe Rogan experience uh, as a podcast. Thanks for watching. This is Jay Crater with the Rideshare Guy. If you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel here, uh, sign up. Uh, if you're a driver, you need to be on top of all the most current information, and this YouTube channel will give it to you. Thanks for watching. You all go out and have a great day.